Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets and I am Amanda. Today I am here to do my week four budget projection for the month of June 2022. And um, just to forewarn you, it is a little lengthy today because I had some changes that I had to do to my budget and um, adding some expenses and all of that. So yeah, I definitely have the coffee still early i was able to get a workout in this morning and now i'm all showered and cleaned and refreshed and ready to start the day of other 1000 items i have to do on my list but first and foremost there's always my budget i have to make sure that my money is intact so if you are interested in this sort of content then please stick around for the remainder of this video for those that are new here, welcome. And for those that are not new, welcome back. Here on this channel, we talk about anything related to money from spending your money to saving your money to investing your money to whatever from in short term um, instances as well as long term instances. So what we are going to do is like i stated previously we're going to go through this week for budget projection so i'm not going to prolong with any more intros because we have a lot to do i'm going to see if i can get it done quickly all right so let's populate the information up on the screen for those that are old as you see the electronic versions of my budget projection was short-lived we may return to it who knows we never know but I'm back to writing it out. So here it is. All right. I was able to come up with two phrases today. These things have been on my mind heavily. Actually, they pretty much stay on my mind. The first one is a mental clarity is the answer. That is a self-explanatory phrase because it is. Basically, what I mean by this statement is... You want to make sure that you are understanding situations to the best of your ability, allowing people to speak before you formulate an answer so that you can get a full understanding. And also, as it relates to a personal side, you want to check in with your mental self daily. You want to make sure that you are not operating on emotions this is one thing that I know that I have to work on daily. Therefore, which leads us right into this next phrase, force yourself to focus on thinking. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thinking before reacting. There it is. Because, you know, there a situation can pop up and you are just ready to react really quickly. And it's not nine times out of ten based on emotions. So what you need to do is stop breathe and give yourself time to think through that situation now if it is something that where you have to make some kind of immediate choice you still want to be able to make sure that you have forced yourself to try and think quickly as soon as possible i was thinking about that because i was out doing my walk run combo this morning and i did it in the subdivision or yeah, I went through the subdivision out to one of the main streets and there was a dog that was roaming, uh, you know, um, a loose knot on a leash. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? Hmm. What would you do if that dog attacked you? So that means that, you know, you start belloping, coming real quickly towards you. What are you going to do? So I'm sitting here. I mean, I'm walking and thinking like, um, hmm. You need to be prepared. Okay, so um, me, when I am out and about, my significant other will, you know, try to force me to take my weapon with me when I'm, when I'm out on, you know, longer jogs and walks and hikes and things like that. Now, I did have it with me, just to be clear, but I didn't, I didn't want that to be my first, you know, um, item or I guess or usage or the first plan of attack I guess so I'm sitting here thinking like hey you should have had a stick 
So now what I'm going to do to make sure that I'm better prepared. But in that instance, if he had have attacked me, then yes, my mental clarity would have been to, you know, pr probably use the weapon. But um, in the, you know, in the future, my goal is to, you know, make sure I'm as prepared as much as possible and try and have a stick with me because I would like for that to be the for first course of action that I take. And if that stick doesn't work, then, you know, we move on to our second course of action. But anyway, yeah, you just want to try and make sure that you are um, thinking through situations before reacting. All right. Now, I did make the introduction long, which I said I was not. But anyway, let's try to dive into these numbers. We're going to try to go as quickly as possible. There are some changes on this um, budget projection today, and they kind of, I don't know, kind of got my got me all over the place a little bit. It's, it's, it's looking a little bit differently from what I normally have. But let's just walk through it. First item is the HOA for $6.70. Then we have Hulu for $6.99. Auto insurance for $54. Another auto insurance for $59. I have explained that in previous videos. I have two different auto insurances on three different vehicles. Student loans, $100. College spending, $25. Debt monies, $536. The electric bill, $160. The gas bill, $180. Children's lunch money, $22. Household expenses, $194. That is money I pull out of my checking account in cash, and I just use that money for different categories like food, um, pet supplies, school supplies, toiletries, anything like that, haircuts, and like that. Um, children's savings, $28.50. Security, the alarm system on this home is $26.95. And last but not least, um, a minor Roth IRA for $20. So this week's total is $1,419.14. Now, I typically leave $1,320 in this account. I had to increase it based on the newly added insurance. So I'm leaving $1,320 in this account each week. However, we see that our total amount is more than that. So let's subtract. As you can see there, I subtracted the 1320 from the 141914, which equals $99.14. That is money that I will need to pull out of the bill savings account, but that's right here on paper. We're not, it's not going to be the last thing I'm going to do. That is just to get us through the calculations. So that number gets a blue cloud around it because it has a relationship with another number with the blue cloud. That's step one. Step two, go back through the expenses and put a PA with the pink circle around it, indicating that these are monies that I will not be using this week, although they are allocated out of this week's pay. OK, so you see those numbers there. I'm not going to reiterate. So we're going to go down and we're going to total up that put away amount. So you see the PA with the pink circle equals $181. So that is the total amount I need to put away, but that is right here on paper. So as I stated, there are two numbers with blue clouds around them. That means they have a relationship. So we need to either add or subtract those. In this uh, instance, since there are two different actions needing to take place, one number needs to be pulled out of the bill savings account, but the other one needs to be put away. So we're going to have to subtract. Let's do that. Let's look at the fourth from the last line. $181 minus $99.14 equals $81.86. And that is the amount that I need to pull out of the bills a savings account um, to help me satisfy the debts. Um, hold on. Let's see. What am I looking at here? Oh, that's because I wrote that incorrectly. I have pull away. Yes, I definitely need some more coffee. It's either put away or pull out, but I have merged the two words or two terms. All right, so let's see. What am I actually supposed to be doing with that money? The 181 is the larger number, so it's supposed to be put away. So I'm going to be putting that amount away, but that's right here on paper. 
So that's step two. Step three is to go back up through these expenses and put a purple triangle beside any item that I will be taking care of this week. And as you can see, there are a lot of items that I am going to be taking care of this week. I think that's what's kind of throwing me off because I normally don't have this many items. I don't know. But anyway, I hope all my calculations are correct. If you, as we go through this and I get to that bottom number and it's not correct, hey, leave me a comment below and let me know. All right, so I'm not going to go back through and read all the items that I need to take care of this week, but we are going to focus on a few. The first one is going to be the um, homeowners association fee that fee is paid quarterly it is $84.25 which you see there however I'm only allocating $6.70 for that so that means that I need to get the remainder money out of the bills savings account so which is what I've indicated there so the $84.25 minus the $6.70 that I'm using from this week's pay equals $77.55. That's the money I need to get out. All right, next one is this auto insurance. That's the new kid on the block. It is due this week. It's always due at the end of the month. So they're saying that it's $100.88, but it should be double that. I'm not sure. I have added one of my children to the the new policy this is actually his car so i purchased the um, insurance and it should be double but this month's bill is still saying 100 dollars 88 cents we're gonna roll with it they're probably gonna double up on me in the coming months but whatever so i only um set aside 54 dollars out of this week pay but also the but like i stated the bill is 100 dollars 88 cents so we will need to get the remaining $46.88 out of the bill's savings account. Okay, that's number two. The next one is the electric bill. I allocated $160. That bill came in at $266 this month. Yes, it is hot here in the South. We have had 100 degree days for what the past week. So my bill is 266. I only allocated 160. So that means that the remaining $106 is what I need to pull out of the bill savings account. But remember, that's just right here on paper. Last but not least is the gas bill, and I allocated $180. However, that bill only came in at $87 this month. So we're going to have to subtract $180 minus $87 equals $93 that money I need to put away in the bill savings account because I will not need to use it. But remember, that's right here on paper. That's not what I'm going to do with uh, monies at the end of the day. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to take care of all of these calculations with the yellow lines underneath of them. We have several that we need to pull out to help us satisfy bills. And we have some we need to put away because we're not using them. So let's see. What I did first is we're looking at the third from the last line. I am what I did was decided to go on and just add up all of the amounts I need to pull out of the bill savings account. So that would be that 7755, that 4688, and that 106. That number equals $230.43. Okay, so that's the total amount I need to pull out. Then I went back and dealt with the put away items. So up top, you see from the gas bill, that's the $93. And down below, that's that $81.86 um, amount. Okay, so I need to add those two numbers together. So we're looking at the next to the last line. That's $93 plus $81.86 equals $174.86. That's the put away amount that we're you know, needing to put away right here on paper. So now we got our total amount we need to pull out to help with debts and transactions, and we have the total amount that we need to put away. So let's look at the last line. We're gonna, of course, have to subtract those two numbers because they have two different actions. $230.43, which is the larger of the two numbers, minus the $174.86, equals $55.57. 
Now, because the larger number is the number that we need to put away in the bill savings account, that is the action that my answer is going to take. So at the end of the day, I need to pull out of the bill savings account $55.57 to help me satisfy all of these transactions for this upcoming week. There you have it. That is how I do my budget projections every single week. So if you're interested in this method, then leave me a comment below. But if not, then still leave me a comment below and let me know what you're doing with your money. How are you budgeting? Are you feeling, you know, a certain way about your money? Make sure you are sticking to those mental phrases that I gave up top. You want to make sure that you are utilizing that method in all areas of your life, especially as it relates to your finances. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big but start small around here. I will see you in the next video. Peace.